In this tutorial, I'll be discussing some common problems you may run into while using Unity's UI system and how to avoid them. In order to illustrate some of these, I'll be working with a button object. So I created my button here as shown in previous tutorials. And as you, as you see here, uh, one thing we've done is the on click uh, property here. Now, if we go to add something, let's say our main camera, let's see, it has the slider one script, that's okay. Let's just pretend here that we drag in our slider one script as though it were this functionality, right? And we go here and we don't see the function that we wrote, uh, you know, to be associated with it. Of course, we do see it here, but in another case, if we didn't see it, the reason that that would be happening is most likely because our function either A, there's some sort of error in the script, but in that case, the script wouldn't even come up here. Or B, is that the we actually didn't make our function public. So if you don't see your script at all, if you, let's click here, if you don't see your script at all here, that means there's an error in the script and you should go to your console and check out what that error is. If you do see your script, but don't see your function, you want to go back and make sure that you have a public void function there. And that, and that should uh, help you out there. Next, um, some other things to be cautious of. Let's see. So another thing is, well, let's say we unparent this from the canvas. Now you'll notice this button disappears. That's something to be cautious of because that could happen when you're clicking a lot over here. Uh, so you want to reparent that to the canvas. Another thing to be cautious of. Right? If you're clicking your button and there's no functionality going on, you deleted the event system. Come back down here to UI and create another event system. But we just want to unparent that from the canvas. Now our button works like it should. So those are some common problems, and obviously these problems extend to other UI elements. So a slider would be the same sort of thing. Uh, any, any sort of object with some sort of interaction uh, in Unity here that we've went over uh, in terms of this UI in, in this tutorial series uh, could potentially have a lot of these problems. And so that's why you have to be very careful when you're writing functions to interact with these things that you follow the very specific rules that are outlined there. And you also have to be careful that everything is uh, working with this canvas, it's that all your UI elements are parented uh, to a canvas game object here, and that you're also using an event system. 